In all my years of messing around publicly on the internet, I've been reviewed or listened to or seen by about approximately 2 million people. You can believe that, not believe it, I don't care. But in my broadcasting days, which I don't broadcast anymore, I was asked many, many times about things like, you know, chemtrails and conspiracy theories, you know, the one world government and the Bilderberger group and the Illuminati and stuff like that. Well, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. I I'm just going to tell you this much. When I was in Vietnam, you can believe this, you not, not believe it, I just really don't care. But I had two top security clearances in military communications. I rubbed shoulders with the CIA and the CID all day long. And this is a fact. I mean, to give you an example, one day I was I was running our satellite link up. That was how we could, we had two satellite military Autobahn satellites circling the earth, and that's how we 24/7. That's how we were able to talk to places like all the naval ships, uh, U.S. naval ships around the world, the Pentagon, the White House, and on and on and on like that. Well, one day I was sitting there running this switchboard and this E-7 was sitting a couple of stools down from me and he was sitting there talking in Arabic or one of those, excuse the expression, but I just don't care, one of those raghead languages anyway. Now what would a guy be doing in the middle of the Vietnam War talking to somebody in Arabic, you see? And I seen it, and that's just one little story. And I seen a whole bunch of other stuff too that I'm just, I really don't want to talk about. So, do I believe that we are being controlled? Yeah, but I just can't sit here and say who. What I believe is you've got a group of people throughout this world that are very, very wealthy, and they're fighting over things like resources and oil and, and stuff like that, and. Personally, if you want to know what I think, like Obama, he's a communist, plain and simple. Bush was even worse. Billy Clinton, I never cared for that lying bastard either. There hasn't been a good president since Reagan, and I don't even know how good of a president he was. Because this is all about power, who controls what, who controls the oil, and like that. And you, my friend and myself are being used as puppets. Like, for example, if you ever ask yourself, why is there so much hate on this planet? Why are terrorists running around cutting people's heads off? Why are the people in Baltimore rioting in the streets, or they were? Why do the police officers here in the United States act like a bunch of Nazis? See, up here where I live in Livingston, Montana, I'm not in Livingston right now, I'm up in a place called Livingston Peak, but if the cops get called to your house, not one will show up, but try like about four, five, six, seven, or whatever have you. You know, you know, do we live in a police state? Absolutely. Are you being controlled? Absolutely. Is there anything you can do about it? Yeah, go get yourself free. But the only way that you can get yourself free is to start freeing up your thinking and get out of this system that you find yourself in. Myself, I'm retired. I'm an old bunged up Vietnam veteran. A lot of people don't pay no attention to me anyway, and I realize that, and I don't care. And like when it comes to these YouTube videos, I don't make these to try to get as many subscribers and be friends. I don't believe in e-friends anyway. And, and that kind of stuff. So, personally, myself, I think that this world is definitely in sorry shape. We've done a good, fine job of destroying the earth, uh, killing, you know. I, I just can't believe that over the, over the centuries, the hundreds of centuries that mankind has been on the face of this earth, how many human beings have killed other human beings. What's the first commandment, ladies and gentlemen? What is the first commandment in the good book? Thou shall not kill. Yet human beings and all these cronies that are 
clamoring for power and everything. That's all they know how to do is destroy and kill. And I, like I say, I personally believe that that probably 95% of the masses of people that are on the face of this planet are being controlled. Simple as that, and they don't even know it. I just thought I'd get that off my chest. Why? I don't know. It's just something I felt like talking about. But I, I'll say, leave me with one thought. What goes on behind them White House doors and what goes on in the war planning room of the Pentagon and all that, what goes on in that miserable Justice Department, the basement of that Justice Building there in Washington, D.C., you and I will never know. This much I can tell you. These are all a bunch of criminals, and they need to be tried for high treason against the Constitution of the United States of America. Now there, that's what this old veteran believes in. You, my friend, on the other hand, can believe any damn thing you want to, because chances are your beliefs are misplaced. Very well, and this is just an amendment to the human control video that I did up in the woods a few hours ago. And a lot of you folks out there might be asking, well, why do we have so much power-hungry people? Why is there so much greed? Why is there so much hate? Now, I do believe I have the answer to that. The simple fact of the matter is, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have enough resources left on the face of this planet to support our, pay attention to me, our ever-growing population. I can remember a mere 15, 20 years ago, we only had like, you know, 4.5 billion people on the face of the planet. Now it's over 6 billion. What's it going to look like 20 years from now? Or 40 years? You see what I mean? So that's what this whole great big conspiracy is all about. You know, these crooked politicians and these uh, industrial magnets and all the, you know, all these and, and bankers and all these people that are in the know that know about this, and this is a scientific fact, too, by the way, you know, the, the simple fact of the matter is, is they want to they wanna ensure their safety, their survival, their family survival, and blah, 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 blah and, and the rest of the population throughout, populations throughout the world can be damned. You know, well, why, why do we have, like, 20,000 people starving per day over in Africa and not, and not very many people are doing anything about it because they don't give a damn. See, you know, it's no wonder people run around in a great big rage and are mad all the time because that's another big controller too. That's another great big thing that controls people. That's M-O-N-E-Y. That ain't nothing but Money is nothing but a way to keep you chained to the system. You have to start getting, you got to start thinking out of the box, start thinking for yourself. And my very, very, very best advice is to advise anybody that watches dumb video to learn some survival skills and get into that kind of stuff because you very well may need them. Now, myself... I, you know, I'm getting up there in age. I don't know how long I can survive without creature comforts, but I, the survival is something I definitely know something about. So there you are. So I just thought I'd throw that in there. Thank you very much for watching the movie file and have a nice day.